Hey guys, welcome to another server miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LCGym007 and today we're looking at the Future Holograms plugin. This is a really simple and easy to use plugin which allows you to create these awesome interactable holograms. So this one, when we click it, is just going to go 1, 2, 3 and then once it's completed the cycle it's going to go 1, 2, 3 again. Obviously in a real server you could use this for rules or something like that so every time they click a page it tells them something new or gives them more information. And then this one over here, you can set it up using placeholder API so it can give your players maybe stats or other information. And you can do just a ton with it. You can make it play sounds every time they click it. And you can set the delay between clicks. So we're going to go through the commands and then look at the config file. So when you create a hologram, make sure you go a couple of blocks up. And if we do forward slash f hollow, that shows us the commands. And then f hollow set location and then choose one. So test, I created this earlier that will actually move the hologram from its original location to the new point. Now if you want the new one, you can do f hollow create and then give it a name. So I've called this one server miner. Now when you do that, it's gonna say change this in the config to actually make it nice and customizable. So we'll do that a little bit later, uh, but there's a couple other commands we can do. So if we do forward slash f hollow list, that's gonna list all the different holograms and their locations. And then if we do forward slash f hollow create test one, and maybe we did this in the wrong place, we can actually delete it by doing f hollow delete and the name of it. So test one and that will get rid of it like so. So that is kind of how it would work in game. All we need to do now is head over to the config file and make some changes and tweaks in there. So here we are on the SMP control panel and as you can see there are three YML files. If we have a look at the config first of all, there's not too much in here. We've got the prefix at the top and then all of the messages that you'll see in chat. So you don't really need to edit that. If we go back, the data.yml just stores data. You don't need to touch that. Holograms, however, is the one we want to change. So if we go into this, you will see a list of all the holograms that have been created. So hologram one, that's there by default. Then we have test, which I created and edited. And then server miner is the one that we have created uh, recently. So if we have a look at test, we have a cooldown of 20 ticks. This is the cooldown between clicks. So when it switches from one line to the next, we have the location, so it's in this world at these coordinates. And then which line do you want it to start at? So var1, which is going to be all of this stuff, is where it's going to start. And then once you click it, it goes to the next one. And then the next one, you can see it goes from var1 to 2 to 3 and then back to 1. You can set as many as you want and just make it really customizable, which is really cool. Then we have the refresh set to true and refresh rate to 20 ticks. This is really useful if you have a leaderboard where you have kills or something like that. And then if we scroll up here, you can have some actions. So when you click it, you can have a sound and then you have some information about the sound here. So you can change that if you want, um, but I just like it as normal. So what we're going to do for server miner is just give it an edit and see what we can do. So the easiest way to do it is just copy and paste the existing lines. So let's do three of them. And then the first thing you want to do is change them to one, two, and three. So line one is going to go to line two, and then line two is going to go to line three, and then three is going to go back to one. And then while you're here, what you can do is you can add more lines. So the easiest way to do is just copy and paste. You can write whatever you want here. You can change the color codes and format codes. You can make it look really nice. And then using placeholder API, you can get various placeholders, such as the player name. So what you can do is just copy and paste this down here if you wanted to show the player name. And then if you really wanted to, you could grab actions and just paste that down here and that is going to create a sound when you click it. And then by default, if we have a look at server miner, it doesn't have the cooldown, so you can copy and paste that. And then it also doesn't have the refresh, so that's another thing that you can copy and paste down here and then you can change these values if you want. So there we go, we have uh, customized it a little bit and then we are going to jump back into the game once we've saved this and see what it looks like. So now that we're back in game, you can see the hologram here. All we need to do is the f hollow reload command with the name of the hologram, so server miner. Once you've done that, you can start clicking it and as you can see, you can cycle through the three different lines that we set and they have different color codes and they show different things. So that is how you would set it up in game once you have changed it in the config file. And here we are on the spigot page. You can see it's updated from 1.8 to 1.16. Here are the features. So you can have actions when you click it and then you can have the refresh rate as we looked at per world support and per player holograms. 
And then if we have a look here, you can see some examples of uh, what you can do with it. So it's a very cool plugin, very easy to use, and I'd highly recommend it. If you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.